goes. There goes Mr. Fernie. Oh, he's so cute. That's really good. Good morning. Meditation, down, journaling, down, and I made myself a delicious breakfast. <laughs> Did a frittata with spinach and tomatoes that were done in a little bit of like garlic, and then I poured my eggs on and a little chiffonade of basil afterwards, and that was so good. I wanted to make sure I eat before I do my first bus chore of the day. First time, we've lived in here a year and a half now, and this will be the first time that I have taken the initiative to clean our solids bin on our nature's head composting toilets. Here we go. Here we go. It's my turn though. This is an equal opportunity family. I will do this. I'm going to do this. I'm trying to talk myself out of it all morning, but I'm gonna do it. I just don't want to. Okay. I think I should just bring the whole thing outside. All right, I'm switching my game plan. I'm bringing it all outside and then taking it apart because I don't want to spill anything in here. That would be gross. You about to be wildly entertained by your mother. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, it just slides. Okay, cool. Ah! It actually is not so bad. I thought it was gonna be so much worse. It's pretty much just dirt. I tried to dig a hole the other day and it didn't really work. So for now, I'm going to bag it, but come spring then I'll just be able to throw it in the ground because it's compost. It's not gonna hurt anything. I will not be putting it in the garden though because you're not supposed to. Pro tip. Like a glove. Give me a couple of spans. Boom, that's a fairly clean toilet. I'm just gonna kill Chase because it was so much easier for me to do it. This takes him hours normally. I can't wait to wash all my clothes after doing this because well, it's not that dirty or gross, I'd still rather be safe than sorry. This is so much easier than watching Chase do it before. A little upset with myself that I procrastinated this so much. Here we go. Here the fuck we go. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands. Just kidding. We're totally gonna rinse this part out because it's the pee spout that smells really bad. Guys, here's little Fern. Bernie. Get enough sauce? I gotta go use the other spigot. <laughs> I didn't know cows cough like that. <laughs> oh no, this is the wrong kind of spigot. Well, it's rinsed out. Unfortunately, the weather's starting to turn. It's getting much colder. Come on, sun, come back. That makes um, me a big weenie because it really wasn't that bad. What smells the worst is the pee jug. Doesn't matter who you are, what you use, pee smells. I really hope this works. We're gonna call this segment the bus jug. This handle of vodka is plastic. It cost me $11.99 before tax. And hopefully this is gonna solve all Hopefully this is gonna solve our gray tank issue. At least help her unthaw. So I closed the valve underneath the bus because we've just been landing it open and hoping that whatever melts will melt out of it. So the valve is now closed. I'm going to pull this whole handle down there and hope that it melts the ice. I feel like this could melt your face off. Thumbs up. It's really gross. Go, 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 woo! I feel like I'm at a frat party! Oh yeah. Okay, it's not backing up in the sink. It all drained. Oh my god, the bus smells like a bar now. <laughs> That's so gross. I don't like vodka that much. There's a couple of drinks I'll have that have vodka in it, but not many. It's bus chug, all right. I think I should just let it sit for, I don't know, like 30 minutes? Yeah. I also got a tip from somebody else that I could pour salt in there and I took caution. So I looked under our sink and our pee trap is definitely one of those like whoop just get stuck in the pee trap and then I'd have more problems. But I do have this rather, I mean, it's a little bit old Himalayan sea salt, Costco. I've upgraded to Maldon because 
standards. I'm intrigued by pouring salt in there as well. We continued on that. I'll have to figure out, ask Chase, if there is an entry port underneath the bus to be able to just pour some, some salt in. So if I can fix my problems with salt, you know damn well I'm gonna do that. I can get you inside of the tank. But grabbing that made me realize that I desperately need to organize my spice shelf because it looks like a madhouse. Any recommendations for putting Spanish saffron in a recipe? Please send it to me because I really want to use this, but I just can't. I can't fathom how I can use this. The reason why saffron is so expensive because saffron flowers only produce three of these wee like stigmas within the saffron, so they have to be individually plucked, making harvesting very difficult and not resulting in much yield. So that I know about saffron, but I don't know how to cook with it. I'll lay vodka in here, real strong. Dishes are done. The toilet is pretty much dry. Ugh, it smells so much better. Already, like it smells like vodka in here, but the toilet smells great. Vodka toilet. Right. Hey, this is not a good time for you to try to enter the house. You want your monkey? <laughs> okay, I'm going. Come on, slide, baby. There we go. So light now, I can't believe it. That's how you know you have to empty it when it gets heavy. Dish is done, potty done. I hope those last clips didn't look terrible because I accidentally slid the F stop. I'm still not camera proficient, but here I am doing this. The last thing I want to check, stop, don't, stop. Name that movie. Has the vodka sat in there long enough? It definitely smells like vodka in our house, like no doubt about that. Cross your fingers. Oh, that was so anticlimactic. We'd be dribbling. Just better than nothing, I guess. I was hoping for like a whoosh. Okay, so we're just gonna let her drip out onto the ground here. If any animals want to come drink it, they might get drunk. If they do, I will film them. It's called documenting. Maybe I just need more vodka. You guys think I need to buy more vodka? I also don't want to like overload the tank. It's worth a shot. Now we can settle into our afternoon. Mm. Why is that monkey? Why are you so cute? Oh, I love you. You're the best thing ever. <laughs> you are. Chase is on a very, very long day today, so he won't be back until very late tonight. And I am just feeling for him right now. The sacrifices he is making right now to provide for our future means more than I could say. He's my hero, he's my champion, he's loving my life, he's, the he's my best friend ever, he's my pirate, he's my scallywag, like, he a real bad bitch. I appreciate him so much. I just have to let you guys know that too, because he, that's why you don't see him much. And it's become the Mimsy show, he's just, out there grinding and working for our future, which is amazing. So much love to my handsome pirate husband, just out there, out there doing the damn thing. Mm. What's in my grog? Buddy gave me a lot of flack last week for not making a simple syrup, so I'm gonna do a very small amount of simple syrup. I believe you made chia pudding with these. Got my sugar, looks like it's mostly dissolving. The water was pretty hot. Really all a simple syrup is, is equal parts sugar and water. All right, because I'm making such a minuscule amount of simple syrup, I'm not gonna bother boiling it. I just poured some hot water into some sugar equal parts, broke up a little bit of a cinnamon stick and threw that in there. Uh, this week's cocktail is pretty much brought to you by Bard again. Apple pie moonshine, old smoky. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make like a, like an apple pie cocktail with it. I do have some half and half, or maybe, no, I think I've got heavy whipping cream. So I might do like a little whipped cream on top of it too, cause I got a new toy. I've never really drank moonshine. Um, 100% sure what this tastes like. It is supposed to be apple-y. So that's why I was kind of rolling with a cinnamon thing. I've never made this before guys, so this could be terrible. Wow, that is, woo Nelly, that's strong. Okay, we are getting our moonshine on. Woof. I wasn't quite prepared for this cocktail time. Um, I don't have any extra ice to get her started, but I'm still gonna shake it in my shaker to get that cinnamon like all over the place. So, old smoky apple moonshine going in. Cinnamon simple syrup done with a monk fruit sugar blend. And I also I'm gonna put some apple cider in here. Not gonna get that super satisfying like clinky sound because I don't have any extra ice to shake this with. I am gonna pour it over ice though because I have my 
my whiskey cubes, but they can be moonshine cubes today. All right, a little smack in that shaker. Definitely smells very apple-y. Just a little bit. This is my new toy that I'm so excited about. So I finally got one of these little frother things. So hopefully this whips this up until it's nice and fluffy. Sounds like a little speedboat in there. Pistole resistance. Tiny bit of cinnamon on the top. And that is an apple pie moonshine drink. I don't know what to call this. Huh? Not shabby, right? All right, let's hopefully this is delicious. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Whoa. Mmm, that kind of just blew my mind. I got a lot of cream. And Hmm. Yep. Well, that's a new one. Any uh, suggestions? What I should call this little, this little delight? Definitely feels like a like a post dinner dessert drink kind of thing. Damn, I'm so impressed. That's really good. I didn't think that was gonna work. <laughs> this one's for you, Bart. Thank you for the apple pie moonshine. Thank you for the sugar. And thank you for my shaker set, as always. Pirate's Grog is fruity and delicious this week. That's what's up, if you know what I mean. What? All right, recap. Honeycrisp apple cider, apple pie moonshine from Old Smoky. I made a little quick simple syrup with a cinnamon stick, fresh ground cinnamon, and some monk sugar with equal parts water. I put that all together, frothed up my heavy whipping cream, added a little cinnamon, and she's so good. Oh, what? Mm. Did get a request, lost your all the time, Josiah. I will have Manhattans coming soon. I need to go pick up some sweet vermouths. I did not have that laying around today. Mm. I'm all fucked up about this. This is so yummy. <laughs> like, oh no, am I gonna be a moonshine girl? <laughs> Make moonshine and I live at a buzz on a farm in Colorado. Bootlegging. Peglegging. Ooh, we're called peglegging. <laughs> Thursday cocktails with Kenzie. Mm. Major vibes, I think I need to turn on Harry Potter like now. Where's my wand? I need my wand. That's right, I have my own wand, custom made from Etsy. Chase got it for me. It's Elderwood. I think it's time to watch a little Harry Potter and maybe get it in the more like Christmas spirit, if you will. You think Die Hard's a Christmas movie? I'm allowed to think Harry Potter's a Christmas movie. Must it go to Hogwarts? Master has given Dobby a sock. This turned into the best day ever. What do I reward myself after cleaning our shit bin? Cocktails and wizards and magic and spells and stuff. Hmm.